For those of you that were asking where the fuck I'm at, I'm here, I'm not dead, I'm not going anywhere. I'm probably never gonna stop collecting action figures. I've slowed down a lot, I'm selling a lot, just trying to sharpen up the collection a little bit. And if you're wondering where I've been, it's because there hasn't been shit to get. Basically, the only thing I'm collecting right now is Marvel. Unfortunately for the Marvel collectors, one of the people that makes the majority of the Marvel toys does an extremely shitty, lazy job on them. So it's kind of hard to get excited about them. But then there's other companies out there like Marvel Select, and sometimes they will drop a jewel of a larger size character and put it out for a collecting pleasure. So I took a drive down to the local toy store, walking to the back where the Marvel figures are, hoping, praying, that I'll see some of these treasures on the shelf. I go around the corner and they're hanging right there in front of me. I was so excited. I felt like Collector Rush bending over for the Hasbro team for the first time. I grabbed up those figures, holding them proud to the register for everybody to see what the fuck I had. I was like, that's right. Marvel Collector coming through. Coming through, got some hot Marvel products. And these aren't those shitty Hasbro ones either. You know those ones that are just repainted, got that marbly, swirly plastic. And if you're lucky, you'll get a new repainted head on top of that thing for the low price of $25. <whistles> that company's definitely taking the fun out of collecting. And then there's this other company that gives you these big deluxe figures for $29.99. And what you get with that is real paint, good quality plastic, an original sculpt, and the some of the Hasbro shill fuck boys will go, well, the articulation's not as good. Well, you guys got Hasbro's dick so far up your ass, you don't know what a good figure looks like anymore. But here it is, and I'm here to drop a couple for you. There was a few of you asking me if I was going to chime in on the Batmobile. And I was like, come on, man, I'm above that. I don't need to do it. I don't need to kick a guy when he's down. While well, he's already biting the curb. I'm just fucking wrong. Of course we're going to talk about the Batmobile. There's going to be a few of you guys, a few of the hardcore shills and fuckboys for Hasbro. They're going to go, well, the Batmobile just doesn't look like the same quality as the engine of greed. Well, the Batmobile was 60 bucks. The engine of greed was 350 Even though it had a top, middle, and bottom, I don't think it's worth the 350 The people that are defending the Hell Charger at this point, those are the people that just can't get Hasbro's dick far enough down their throat. There was an actual YouTube channel out there that sucks the dick of Hasbro so hard. He was literally doing a video begging people to back the Hell Charger and then back out at the end just because he didn't want to miss an opportunity to suck Hasbro's dick. When they announced the engine agreed, that divided this toy community more than anything ever has. And for me, I thought it was the best thing that could happen. Because it showed you where the G's were and who the shills were. Let's check this shit out. All right. I'm going to take my time with this thing tonight. It might be long. You might have to skip through. I got a shit ton of comparisons that I want to pull out. I've missed you all. Just wanted time to chat it up with you. Hit me up in the comments. The comment section is always entertaining. So we're going to dive right in and we're going to check out the Super Scroll from Marvel Select. He does come with two heads. 
the basic normal head. He also comes with the screaming head. And to you Marvel Legend collectors, you're probably going, what the fuck is that? Well, that, my friend, is an accessory. But it's not just any accessory. It's not like this killer blast effect that Marvel Legend gives you. It's not like this. This, my friends, is an accessory that matches the power set of the action figure. This is the shit that gives a collector nerd wood. I'm chubbing up like right now like Collector Rush the first time Dan gave him just the tip. This thing is amazing. Tons of detail, tons of different colors. I know it looks weird when you look straight on, but from sideways, it looks amazing. It pops right in his mouth, just like Hasbro's dick does on a lot of these shield channels. You can pose him like this. That is just truly fucking awesome. He's got the black bolt head on him. What you have here is the Super Scroll when he was battling the Illuminati. He took over the powers of the Illuminati, fought the Illuminati. We'll go ahead and pull some of those out. The articulation on this is absolute articulation perfection for me, except for the pins, which I didn't realize that it had a pin because I was just looking at that. So as far as the articulation goes, it's got a couple pins. It works good enough for me. There are some cool joints here. Look at the top of the boot joint right here. Come on, man. If you're not chubbing up to that, you probably shouldn't be collecting action figures. It's got the waist articulation, which I know I never do articulation. Isn't that great? It's kind of like whatever, no big deal. I don't think that it turns at the waist. At least I couldn't get mine to turn at the waist. The arms, it does have a bicep swivel. Um, as far as getting the arms up, it kind of hits the shoulder pad. It's a little restricting there. If you're one of those guys that has to put your uh, action figures in yoga poses, you're definitely not going to like the articulation on this. But if you like good paint apps, if you like original sculpts, if you like your first time getting this version of this character ever, then you are going to love this thing. Now, I know that some of you fuck boys are out there going, well, wait a second. Aren't the, isn't the Hasbro team making one of these? Yes, they are. Except for theirs is just going to be a shitty repainted version of this figure. I know theirs looks a little bit different. Theirs, I think they put like the Thor cape on them or something. But it's basically the same thing. But this one's original sculpt. Theirs is going to be a repaint. And theirs is also going to be in a two-pack with Spider-Woman. They're going to call her the Scroll Queen because they were too cheap to actually give you the Skull Queen. So they're just gonna give you a head with another repainted figure and they're probably gonna charge you 60 bucks for that. Or you could get this thing for $29.99. They didn't give it to me for free. I know it looks like I'm definitely sucking the Diamond Select dick right now. But this shit is just truly amazing. It comes with a bunch of extra hands, which is something that, you know me, I never care about the extra hands. One set of hands is all I need. I'm not going to change these things out. I picked my favorite set of hands. Went ahead and put these things on here. Put the black bolt head on there. I'm going to do a bunch of comparisons with that. And now we're going to take a look at this apocalypse. First off, he also comes with extra hands. Fisted hands. An open hand. An extra hand here. So you can take this and put these other grabby hands on. He also comes with a ball that you could just take this off and put the hand on there and put the ball on there, which is definitely a cool accessory. And then you can plug the, the his cable into the forearm of this figure. On this thing, let me make sure I get the camera right. You can put these hands on here. You just clip this off, put this on here. The cable fits in here. Um, I do wish, let me, I do wish that the cable was a little bit softer. It's a little stiff, so when you move this thing around, it will pop out of the hole. So if softer plastic on this would have definitely made the action figure free, you could move it a bunch more. And then I took the other hand off and put the drill thing on there. Whenever they come with cool accessories like this, I have to use them. Like, I was just trying to figure out how I could put this on there. If I had two of them, you know, I could figure something out with it. Go ahead and look at this. I know there's a few haters out there going, I don't really like the apocalypse. His face looks a little weird. Well, you guys need to get off Hasbro's dick because this shit is truly amazing. 
Look at the head sculpt on that. Look at the paint on that. It's not like that weird, gummy, transparent, soft, shitty plastic that you're used to seeing. Look at everything is sculpted in here. Sculpted buttons up here, like rivets, sculpted lines on it, sculpted chest, sculpted A. Got little rivets everywhere, sculpted lines here. Tons of great paint. It even has like a little like a black wash on the silver. Okay, kind of faded in. It just, just truly amazing. Does the drill spin? No, I wish that it did. I tried that a few times. The articulation on this thing, to me, it's, it's fucking amazing. If you're like, once again, need to get this thing in yoga poses, you're gonna have, definitely have your issues with it. It is pretty cool. This one does turn at the waist, like right here, which is hard to grab and with the cables. You can turn them right here at the waist. He also has this ab crunch, which actually works pretty good. The head articulation on this thing is absolutely fucking amazing. I like how his head will like go down sideways like that. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh man, I'm gonna have to rub one out after this video, guys. Cause this thing, look at this. I can't, look at the head sculpt on that. I love it. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> This is what I'm talking about. These things popping out. You play with it all, they pop right out. You can't glue them in because you can't change the hands. So go ahead and leave it. As far as uh, arm articulation goes, you can only pick it up so far without this cable coming out. So it's kind of like an eh, whatever. Single jointed elbows, which I like because it's nice and clean. Completely pinless, single jointed knees, which I also like. And I know most of you guys hate, you're going, not enough articulation for me. Plenty for me. Like this is all that I need. Um, it doesn't look like the boot turns on the calf, but you can turn it at the knee, so you kind of get that. As far as the ankles go, the usual basic diamond select is, is, I mean, I love it. It's the perfect amount of articulation for me. It's super clean. There's not a bunch of clunky shit around. Let's pull out some comparisons. Right, so this is what I pulled out for comparisons on the Apocalypse. As you guys know, I'm selling about half of my collection on Macari. So if you're not seeing some apocalypses, well, those are already down the road. When I got this new one, I was like, all right, here's the plan. Get the new apocalypse, because whenever I buy new figures, I try to get rid of some old figures. Otherwise, the collection will never get smaller, and I got to get this thing shrunken down. So my intent was when I bought this was to get rid of this, but the costumes are so different that I'm struggling to do that which I know I should get rid of Apocalypse, but you need this one for the House of X. You need this one for the Age of Apocalypse. You need this one just to show everybody that you're a true G in the Marvel collecting community. And you have to have this one because he is definitely by far the best Apocalypse out of all of these. And if you're sitting there going, well, what about that one? That one is good. He's second best now. He was the best forever. And I will have him in my collection until they decide to do, uh, what the fuck, that ripoff thing that they call? You know, where they want us to give um, give Hasbro our money and then they hold on to it for like a year and collect interest. On oh, the, the HasLab thing. The thing that billion dollar companies should never be doing that thing so until they remake this figure i will keep this figure in my collection i just wanted to show you you can you know see the size comparison on my uh colorful backboard there and i just have to say this thing god it's been so long since i bought an action figure and i was this excited about it i love this thing to death they give you all the accessories you would ever want I know when they did this Build-A-Figure, this nice, um, shiny, way too shiny, marbly, weird, swirly. Look at, the, look at the fucking plastic in that. Look at the swirls and the transparency and just the bullshit, all the pinholes. And then they made this claw like an accessory. So you first you got it with the regular fisted hand, or I think it just came fisted. I don't know if he came with open hands or not. But he was like the Build-A-Figure. I thought it was pretty cool. At the time, he was my second favorite Apocalypse compared to that one. And now he's like 
my least favorite apocalypse. Just because you have to have the Age of Apocalypse apocalypse. I kind of feel like I need this one in my collection just for the House of X to have him in that display. So I'll probably go ahead and keep him even though I know that I shouldn't. I, it sucks, man. Um, I'm, on a, I'm, I'm on Marvel's dick. It's not Hasbro. It's not Legend. But fuck, I love these Marvel action figures. Let's go ahead and do some comparisons with this Super Alright, so I went ahead and pulled out all of the scrolls, or at least all the scrolls that I have left. And these are the old uh, Marvel Select, Diamond Select scrolls. They did two different colors. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Like this is a little bit darker purple. This is a little bit lighter purple. I went ahead and kept three of those in my scroll collection. I kept three of the, the Build-A-Figure shitty repainted scroll that they did. I got three of those in the collection, which I was on the fence to just completely get rid of all these and keep these because I like these better. They just, whenever they don't look like the same body type as every figure in, on my Marvel shelf, I don't know. That's why I'm going to keep this thing on my collection if I cared and, and felt like taking the time and learning how to do actually really good videos with pop-ups and all the cool shit that everybody else does. But I'm just too lazy and I don't feel like taking the time to learn or to teach myself to do stupid shit like that. For you could have a good video. We're just going to go ahead and stick with this and I'll put some pictures at the tail end of the video. The lovely Hasbro team has blessed us with another one of their two packs. It's the Illuminati Black Bolt Super Scroll in the shitty costume, not the good costume. Because they couldn't make the good costume because that would require them new sculpting. So the one that they're doing is just another shitty lazy repaint with a new head and a couple of little, little shoulder pads on it. It doesn't have the black bolt wings on it. I think he's got Thor's cape on it. Eh, I don't know about that. Then you have the giant man scroll or the Electra scroll. And I had all three of the Toy Biz Super Scroll. I sold the other two. This thing's been sitting on Makari forever. If you need one of these, look it up on Macari. I'll basically take anything that you offer me just because I want to get that thing off the shelf and uh, focus on what I'm going to keep. But there they are. You can kind of check the scale of all of them. Let me hold it back a little bit further. You can see them all together. So when you see this Super Scroll, the Illuminati Super Scroll, the Black Bolt Super Scroll in the shelf, and you're always worried about the size for the Diamond Select, Marvel Select action figures, the only time I get them is when they do a large character. I consider Super Scroll a larger character. If you look at these two side by side, they're basically the same size. He's about, I don't know, an eighth inch, maybe a quarter inch taller than that. It's not much, but I like the bigger scale on the Super Scroll, so I think that it totally works. Let's pull out one more comparison for you guys. All right, you know I love my team building. It's my favorite thing about collecting. When you get all the action figures, you finally get to put the team together. It is an unusual rare treat. When they actually have all the proper costumes on, well then it's a something extra special. So I went ahead and pulled them out to show this guy as a comparison next to him. On the other Super Scroll, he used to fight the Fantastic Four, then he's still the powers of the Fantastic Four. The fact that they did one with the Illuminati is just truly amazing. So I went ahead and put this two together. Um, I don't know how I'm on display. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know if I should have him over there with the scrolls or have him over there fighting the Illuminati. I'm not real sure. I missed you guys. Sorry, it's been a while. I'm never going away. It's probably going to be a long time in between videos just because I don't buy that much shit anymore. But just know that when you least expect it and you're sitting there fighting with the old lady because the 5G towers are kicking and she's just being a complete bitch. Don't think that I don't go through that too, my friends. And then you get to see a talker art video pop up and put some smiles on your day. And she's laying next to you. Tell her I said to quit being a fucking bitch and give you some anal sex. Let's go, Brandon.